Hey, so I've just been out to my brother's to see my new little um, nephew, Harry. And I'll be honest, I had every intention of vlogging more than I did. Uh, but you know what it's like when you get talking and drinking tea and just generally chatting and having a good time. So I'll be honest, I didn't really film anything. I did film a few things on my phone. Um, Harry was hungry and he was not happy about it. He wants some boob juice. Yeah, you want that, don't you? You want some boob juice? Oh God. Luckily, though, he did calm down. It's okay. It's chilled out now. Hey, dude. No boob juice yet. So yeah, there you go. There's a little bit of Harry footage. Anyway, <laughs> while I was out... I'm only here so Josh doesn't tell you untruths about me. <laughs> well, no, it's not untruth. What she did is, she got out... No, there's a whole story to this. There's not, there's there not. Is. She got out a wedding dress while I was out and put it on <laughs> and danced around in it like... No, I didn't! Like a murderer. No, this is why I've come in the vlog. Right. <laughs> rundown i've had my wedding dress since june because it's an off the rack wedding dress um so it's just hung up in the wardrobe it's not one where um i'm having it made or anything i don't go to dress fittings or anything like that it is just in my wardrobe if i need it altering it'll get done a few months before the wedding um however i've had real big doubts about this dress like i've had it for five months and for about four of those months i've been proper doubting like if it's the right wedding dress for me because it is so far off the wedding dress I thought I would have like it's the complete opposite end of the scale so I was like right just bite the bullet and put it on because I haven't had it on since I tried it on in the shop dance around like a I did around. not dance around in it so I put it on and just I'm really glad that I tried it on at home with just me to take some time to actually look at it because I loved my wedding dress shopping experience like I loved the store that I went to um but you just don't get that time on your own obviously I took people with me as well so I'm really glad I tried it on I felt like a Disney princess so I guess that means it is the right dress for me <laughs> but I did not dance around the house in it I tried it on because I have a new pair of shoes as well and I haven't seen the shoes with the dress so I was like right we'll just get the whole thing out of the way and I'll make a decision about the dress and I felt like a princess. <laughs> but I bet if I'd have walked in... But I did not dance around the house in it. She says she feels like a princess, but if I'd have walked in and she's danced around like friggin' I wasn't... Like Ed Gein, <laughs> dancing around. There is not room in our bedroom to dance around in that dress, I will tell you now. Speaking of off the rack, she also informed me that she might not wear a bra for the wedding because one won't fit. So... I feel like we have a high number of men that watch these videos and they probably don't want to know that. Are you kidding that men don't want to know? <laughs> Maybe not Mr. David and Mr. Ian, but most men are right, fairly it... interested in boobers. <laughs> Harry was interested in boobies. If there's any women... Oh God, how do I even put this without embarrassing myself? Quickly. Right, if there's any women who watch these vlogs who have been married, <laughs> did you wear a bra with your wedding dress? What are you on about? I'm going to wear one with my waistcoat. <laughs> you probably need one. Like, without going into too much de personal detail, like, I have mid-sized boobs, I would say. How <laughs> however, did we get here? <laughs> however, the dress is very boned and structured. So when I put it on, I put it on without a bra and I felt like I didn't need one. <laughs> so any ladies who've had a wedding dress, please give me advice on the bra situation because I'll need one that's like really low V at the front and either completely backless or one that fastens like down at the bottom of your back and that just does not sound comfortable to me. I'd rather go without. Just sort of, <laughs> I won't hold them in place. Boobs and bones. <laughs> Tile for today's vlog. <laughs> and with that being said, we're going to get going. So we'll see you guys next time.